Six days of pure magic, human design rave festival 2024. And hello, dear viewers, welcome to the human design rave festival 2024 from the 17th to the 22nd of January. It's a hybrid event, so we have it online, worldwide, and live in Sofia, Bulgaria. You're really welcome from everywhere around the world to join us. And here we're very happy to present you our next uh, speaker, Elena. So nice to have you here. Hi. Hi. I'm pleased to be here and uh, yes, my name is Elena. I'm a mental project, a 6-2 quad right, the cross of prevention. And um, um, I met human design in 2008 and um, my official experiment started after foundation reading in 2013. And uh, since then I was uh, a little bit more... Um, deeply involved in studying human design not all not only experimenting with it and now uh, it's not an experiment anymore because it became a lifestyle so and uh, i'm i'm grateful for having this knowledge on my fractal and um, although it was kind of occasional very um, unexpected because uh, i was uh, looking for some system to help me make decisions and then I purchased a magazine and I read an article and I was curious to go to Jovian and run my charts and um, I was uh, disappointed because I saw that no inner authority and uh, role model personality that I thought was connected with a lot of responsibility and I wanted to just be left alone with a second line body but then over time, I realized a little bit more about my profile and um, about um, uh, the way how the not self mind can distort, uh, distort the understanding of who you are and the way how you live out your life. And uh, it's interesting that uh, the invitation for a projector works in two areas of life. And uh, um, in terms of work, I have never found a work by my own initiative. Every kind of job work I had was offered and presented and I was called out. So um, I stopped initiating in this area and then in the other areas. And um, because I made sure and that this system was really practical and um, I could validate it in my experiment, um, it was kind of uh, the body decision to stay with it. And then in 2015, when I moved to California, because I'm from Ukraine, and then I moved to California, I got the opportunity to study human design at IHDS and uh, to do a lot of self-studies through the materials of Raul Hu that I purchased at, at Jovian. And over the years, I... Uh, I went through a lot of courses. I became a certified guide analyst and then variable transformation teacher, which uh, enables me to um, to guide uh, students through the four steps of transformation uh, to um, to become themselves at a deeper layer. So, this is this is my passion. UDP. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. It actually. Um, Andrea Reiko Wolf calls it the um, um, second, the, the higher degree, the 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 university degree of human design. PhD, yeah. PhD, I think she calls it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the PhD, yeah, PhD of human design. <laughs> yes, yes, she does. Yeah. So is it the PhD? Do you feel like it's the PhD? Yes. <laughs> she says that uh, being a variable transformation teacher, it's like uh, being uh, a living URD guide, by, um, but it's a higher level. It's uh, the highest level from her perspective. Yeah, and what about and... from yours? Like, Yes, it is. Um, you feel a kind of responsibility um, about what you say to your students and you make sure that you don't say too much and you don't say too little. And uh, because it has to do with the body and with the health, 
you are very careful about how you guide them not to harm their body not to say something that they can misinterpret misunderstand because um, I've been also watching the social media and what people post and how they do uh, self-studies and then they experiment on their own without uh, proper guidance and what it can lead to and how they are disappointed and then quit so here we really have to be careful as guides it's so important that you're mentioning that um, and also um, starting to get into the deeper levels requires some stable base, right? So it's about first really experimenting with your strategy and authority before diving heads on in um, the deeper levels of design, right? Yes, because you have to have the experience of using your strategy and authority. You had to gain this habit of making decisions correctly as yourself. So the, the next decision, if you decide to go study DDP or take uh, a coaching process with the specialist, um, so that this decision can be really made authentically by you, 100%, without dabbling, because um, I know one story about someone who jumped into that and she was an emotional manifesting generator and immediately she felt frustrated and emotionally unstable. She didn't like it. She, she felt unhappy for many months. Yeah. So this decision has really to be made by you correctly regardless of what other people can tell because someone can be fascinated by the way i share my experience and again i will tell you that you have to follow your strategy and authority make sure that this uh, the decision is made by your body and your body has to be determined and dedicated to go through that process mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, also another layer of human design, which is considered maybe a little bit advanced, but actually it's not. And even um, I saw somebody teaching the Living Your Design course uh, with the accent on the dream rate, mm -hmm. uh, because it can also be so important in our deconditioning process to know those places which we can um, be uh, triggered during the night matrix and um, like our um, um, spot that how was it called exactly harmful spot. weak point weak point the weak point yeah weak point so that's a very interesting subject that uh, we didn't uh, discover and investigate yet during the festival but um uh, guys, human design has also uh, a rave dream part and it's about um, your nightlife uh, and it has nothing to do with uh, those uh, books for telling you what your dreams mean or something like that. Yes. But it's a very important topic from human design and especially um, connected to your deconditioning process. And we're so lucky to have um, Elena share this subject with us, um, if she would like to, <laughs> actually. Yes, I would like to. And I do agree that uh, this part is important, although not uh, all the people will consider it important because... Um, this is a night time. You sleep, you don't have many activities when you are laying down and have your dreams. But um, if we look at the condition in uh, the transits that we have now in the nodal polarities, uh, we have the gate 42, which is also a part of the dreams. So uh, the not self world will be having these dreams about death and about dying and about all kinds of things. And they will be conditioned at night to act upon that during the day. And if you want to be aware about how uh, the not so people around you act and why and how you yourself can be aware of what the program um, can bring you, then, well, it's better to have the uh, dream rave analysis with a specialist after you get your foundation reading. And of course, it has to be um, a decision made uh, correctly by you. 
and um, um, we had to also remember that uh, some um, some dream rape charts can have this weak point that can be added to the uh, not self mind making decisions incorrectly during the day and this is the area where you are unaware uh, where you are sleeping you are unconscious and uh, you get uh, this uh, new layer of conditioning uh, from your own uh, dream rave from the program and if you are sleeping with someone with the pets or with human beings uh, you get this uh, condition from them as well and uh, you need to be aware of how you can wake up as yourself how you can go to sleep as yourself and uh, how you can decondition from all these energies yeah it's so magical you know i'm listening to you and i am myself exactly now just entering this uh, field field of studies so i'm far uh, from calling myself a professional in dream rave but uh, usually when in the foundation readings uh, we always explain about sleeping alone as the most primary uh, recommendation for everyone. It's the only recommendation in human design that it is for everyone. And uh, normally I just go to MMI and I, I show people the dream rave chart and just say without anything, just look at your chart. And most of them, of course, are reflectors. When it's horizontal, it's so different. And I almost always, there's this like, wow, what is it? It's like this magic that, that, that happens in this, just seeing this image is, it is something very, very magical just to realize the fact that when we are sleeping, we turn into something different, isn't it? Yes, yes. The matrix uh, of our design shifts and uh, we become like mammals. A lot of activations are taken away, but some activations can be added. And also we have the potential to get some special information from the portal gates and also from uh, the uh, um, gates from the demon realm, which can be helpful to keep our body healthy. And also from the... Um, uh, earth plane which can uh, distort our sleep because uh, there are a lot of chaotic events and also from the uh, 16 uh, godheads which can affect our mind to make decisions yeah i like your sharp way of bringing the information like tak 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 <laughs> it's i really can see your organizing mind like that has been organizing it's like tak 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 it's really marvelous to watch yeah so if you want to get a really well structured and organized information i'm sure that that's what you're getting <laughs> i was i was learning that as well <laughs> yeah as an organizational being who is here to tell a story <laughs> yes I try to make sure not to rush in telling my stories because uh, I already got the feedback from people that uh, they can be confused uh, when uh, my mind switches between uh, logic and abstract and uh, they they don't always have time to switch with, my, uh, with me. Honestly, I have the same problem because, and Julia can tell you when she's working with me, because I'm like <laughs> all over the place. Time. I go from here back again and forward and it goes like logic, abstract, logic, abstract. And people can get really confused if they don't have patience or time to wait for me to finalize the whole picture <laughs> to give like a finished um like view on things so i i absolutely can relate to what you're saying yeah because mm -hmm. you both very much complete each other it's like veronica has the abstract logic between head and ajna and elena is between ajna and the throat so yes i i combined our charts too <laughs> when i had a look at veronica's chart okay <laughs> that's so much fun yeah it's i remember like a puzzle what... <laughs> somebody told me like we're meeting online and they're like would you like to share your human design id <laughs> with me <laughs> i 
never heard that kind of definition, but <laughs> it's pretty yeah. much logical. Yeah, this is our like, <laughs> show me your ID now. <laughs> So I know what's coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, the, the chart is not the territory. So <laughs> there's always yes. a surprising element, of course, when you see the real person behind it. Yeah. So it was thank you for letting us speak a little bit behind the body graph and um show you to the world and uh present uh, your offering. So is there something you would like to finish and uh, give something from your 6-2 perspective up on the hill? Um, well, it was my pleasure to talk to you and to present what um, one of my passions, because I'm also experimenting with uh, recording dreams and with watching how the... Um, transits affect my body during the night and during the day and um, from my 60 perspective I can tell you that um, remember that the life is in your body and uh, um, if you have um, your mind uh, stepping in, in the way just give yourself time to experiment and to train your mind to see because uh, uh, the awareness that we can have is come it comes with seeing and um, I remember I had um, some depressive times in my youth but then uh, I realized that it wasn't the end while you are still here in this ride in this body it's not the end and you can still be yourself and you can still enjoy whatever happens even if it can be upset and it can be sad. This weekend, I had an interesting experience where I was watching a movie uh, with people from my family. And then for a moment, I got identified with it and it made me upset. And then when I stepped back, the life was sweet again. It was interesting to watch. Um, I had a lot of writing in my journal last night. And then I went to sleep with a peace of mind. So I, I would like to wish to everyone to really be as deep as they can in their experiment so that it could become their lifestyle. Because uh, it was possible for me, for a quadrite um, person who have a lot of disbeliefs and... Um, and now I can tell from the personal experience uh, that it's something that is working and is practical and it can help you and save you really in this changing world. Yeah. We're also thankful to design. You started with that. So <clears throat> very nice to also finish with being thankful for having it yes. uh, in our lives. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Elena, for thank you precision and presence. It's a really, really beautiful uh, to experience you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you too, more personally, and to meet Veronica. <laughs> yeah, well, you. if you would like to join us, you know what to do. Get your yes. ticket now for online or for live if you can join. And we would love to see you there. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye. Get your tickets today. See you soon.